and um, thought I'd get a little bit of footage here coming down into uh, over towards Bozeman basically it's a really really pretty drive as you guys can see but anyways we're going to pick up hay we've got uh, hay that we're taking down to Missouri and um, then we actually have a reload from there uh, Monday and we'll take that. We've got a reload of cell tower bases that we'll actually take to uh, Pueblo, Colorado. So this hay <clears throat> is actually paying pretty good. And uh, so I was pretty pleased to get that. We have to load 26 bales is the key. And they're four by four by eight. So do the math, that puts us at 24 fitting on my 48 flat. So I've got an idea to fit two more and we'll cantilever two feet off the front, two feet off the back. Maybe we can make this thing happen, we'll see. It's pretty damn windy, we're supposed to tarp it. Not sure if that's gonna happen today. May have to wait till later, get down into South Dakota, we'll see. But uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful morning here in Montana, a little bit of snow on the ground, nothing on the roads. Candlelight Our lips I keep tasting The warm red wine Up there in her arms But it's all in my mind
Um, show you our load of hay that we've got going on here. You can see it all here. Um, everything's riding really good. Make sure this thing is on good. Yeah, we're on. We're, we're cooking. Um, these are eight foot tarps, but as you can see, we got some space on the bottom. So, uh, you know, I think we're probably about 13, six, almost 13, seven, right around in the top there. Hay fluctuates, so, you know, it's kind of a hard deal. Hopefully we don't get any flack from DOT. It's the weekend. Uh, what is this? Saturday, today. We picked up yesterday. We picked all this up in Bozeman, Montana. And man, was it windy. Holy cow. Trucks everywhere tipped over. Um, through Livingston, Montana, which is a really... It's, it's windy even on a good day. Yesterday, I mean, we're talking 50, 60 mile an hour winds. It was pretty rough. So, but all this worked out pretty good. As you can see, the flat back here, all that's holding together is what I always look at as well. Um, when you're loading these eight foot tarps, you always want to take the edge, scoot them frontwards and backwards a good eight to 10 inches. So you've got room to fold these flaps over. Um, you fold everything in shingle style. Uh, just like your roof in a house, you're always thinking about how the wind and the rain is coming through here. So basically what you're doing is uh, back, you, float, you, you fold the tabs over the flap. And on the front, I'll show you. I'll show you really quick here. On the front, the, the flap overruns your fold-ins here. So that way if the wind hits it, it's hitting here going right past the rain all that you don't want this over this because then your your air is going to get in there and it's going to build this thing out so if you see guys going down the road with the side of their tarp flapping all over the place that's usually why the truck is all dirty unfortunately it was all clean but salt we just came through snow and uh the roads are pretty grimy so i'll probably get this washed tomorrow if it's following us the whole day so we got to roll just hit the restroom um not sure if i told you that we're actually in south dakota right now um came down from bozeman there yesterday but uh yeah so it's um pretty cool rest area i mean i like these rest areas they're big and open you know so kind of a cool Let's see if i can get over here and show you that's pretty neat uh resembling the TP. Nice, nice to be out here always. Big open, wide open spaces, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm hoping to get down to Omaha. We've got, we're shooting across on 90 here. Um, we're not too far outside of Rapid City right now. I'm hoping that we can get over, we'll get over to Sioux City and then head south on 29 down to Omaha and that would be a pretty good run. We've Currently we've got 754 miles to go to our destination. Uh, doesn't deliver till Monday, the hay, and uh, you know so we'll be in pretty good shape really by tomorrow I think to have about four to 450 miles to go tomorrow. Uh, probably won't go that whole distance just because we uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to end up right on the property. It's a farm that we're going to. So hopefully I'll get some footage of uh, getting all this stuff unloaded. Won't take too long. And then we got to reload. We're reloading uh, cell phone towers, I think I told you. And we're taking those to Pueblo, Colorado. And, you know, I'll start looking for a load from Pueblo, Colorado Monday. Um, because we'll be there Wednesday. Um, so I like to make sure I'm always ahead of the game. That is the key to being loaded, man. You got to stay on it. You got to stay ahead of it. Um, you can't get unloaded and go, okay, I'm going to go find a load. You've got to look for a load at least the day ahead of time. Um, you know, I book sometimes right now. I mean, freight's pretty good, so I'll book, you know, days ahead of time and just keep it rolling. Um, a lot of guys, uh, gals, whoever, uh, if you have your own authority, um, a lot of people will get 
sort of all deep wrapped around the axle is what I like to say um, trying to find a load if you are a person that can't decide where to go to dinner you're gonna have a hard time trying to decide on what load you want next I promise you that um, at some point you have to make a decision and you know a lot of people like to think that oh hey I can hold out for the next load you know it's gonna pay more money whatever it's not the case people um, sometimes it can be but you really ultimately got to book the load when you find something decent not get greedy keep the wheels turning that's the key because if not you can sometimes end up sitting there twiddling your thumbs and you lose a lot more sometimes but anyways that's probably another whole video I have to do that sometime talk about how I book loads and how we go through that process so until then